Hey everyone, Professor Hank here. So today we're going to be talking about relational operators in C++. And what these are going to allow us to do is to compare numeric and character values and figure out whether one is greater than, less than, equal to, or not equal to the other. So these operators allow us to establish a relationship. And we can take a look at what these operators look like by putting together a simple table. And so you've got these following operators. You've got greater than, you've got less than, You've got equals to, equals to, you've got not equals to, you've got greater than or equals to, and you've got less than or equals to. Now, all of these relational operators, and that's what these are called, relational operators, are binary. So what that means is that they're going to have exactly two operands. So here's some examples of that. You might have two variables, one named x and one named y, and so you can say x less than y. All right, and so these operators are going to evaluate to either true or false. So x is less than y. It is true that x is less than y if the value in x is less than y. Similarly, you can have something like x or 5 does not equal 3. And so this is going to evaluate the true or false based on whether or not 5 is not equal to 3. And so in this case, it's going to be true. And so these expressions here, these are known as relational expressions. So you can also think of this as being kind of like questions that you're asking. So you could say x greater than y, and you're saying is x greater than y? You could say x less than y. You're asking is x less than y? You could say x equals equals y. Is x equal to y? You could say is x not equal to y? Then you can ask if x is greater than or equal to y. And then finally you can ask if x is less than or equal to y. So we're asking questions with these relational expressions. Now, here's another example here. Assume that x contains 4. Okay, and if we do that, then when we say x equals equals 4, this is true. And if we say x not equal to 4, then this is false. And if we say x equals equals 2, then this is also false. Now be very careful here, and this is a mistake that I see students make all the time, and I still make myself on occasion, that the equality operator here is two equals. So it's two, it's not just a single equals. So x equals five here is not the same thing, is not the same as x equals equals five. So one is the assignment operator, and that's the single equals. Equals is assignment operator. And then equals equals is the quality relational operator. Now we talked about the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. They actually are testing two possibilities. If we were to assume that x is 4, y is 6, and z is 4, then it's possible that both of the following are true. So we can say x greater than or equal to z. This is true because x contains 4, z contains 4. So x is greater than or equal to z. So 4 is greater than or equal to 4. It will also be true that y is greater than or equal to x. This is also true because what is y? What's in y? 6. Well, is 6 greater than or equal to 4, which is what is in x? Yes, that is true. But the following would be false. You can't say that x is greater than or equal to y. This is false. Why? Because x is 4 and y is 6. So is 4 greater than 6? No. Is 4 equal to 6? No. So this example here is going to be false. Okay, let's do one more table. So let us assume that a is 10 and y is 7. Then that's the case. And we say a less than y. Is that true? Well, no, because a is 10 and y is 7. So this is false. Now what if we say a greater than y? Is that true? Yes, because a is 10 and y is 7. So this is true. Now, what about a greater than or equal to y? Is this true? Yes, because a is 10 and y is 7. So that is true. 
What about a less than or equal to y? Is that true? Nope, false, because a is neither less than y, which is to say 10 is neither less than 7, nor is 10 equal to 7. Now, what if we say you know, y not equal to a? Is that true or false? That is true, because y is 7, a is 10, and 7 is not equal to 10. Okay, now, how is true and false represented in memory? Well, in C++, true is represented as 1, and false is represented as 0. So let's see an example program. We can create a variable, which we will call true value, a Boolean, and then false value. So remember, Boolean variables can hold true or false. So if we create a variable A and we initialize it with, say, 3, and we create a variable B and we initialize it with, say, 6, then we can do something like this. We can say true value is equal to what? We can say A less than B. A is 3, B is 6, so that's going to be true. So what's going to go into the true value? The value 1. Now, false value, we'll say, we'll assign to that say a greater than b. So that's false because 3 is not greater than 6. So what's going to be assigned to false value? 0. So this is kind of weird, right? Because normally you don't think about you know, less than or greater than or the result of some relational expression as being able to be assigned to a variable, but you can because just like you could have a plus b, the result of a plus b is you're taking the contents of variables a and b, which is 3 and 6 respectively, adding them together, and you get as output of that 9. Well, you have a similar kind of thing here. It's just that the only possible outcomes of the relational operators are 1 or 0, true or false. So a less than b is 1. a greater than b is 0 in this example, right? So those are the values that come out of it, and you can assign that to a Boolean variable. Let's see the output of that. So we'll just display you know, true is, and then we'll do uh, the true value, and we'll do false is, and then we'll show you the false value, and then let's go ahead and compile and run that. And you're going to see the 1 and 0 as the outputs. Okay, one last thing we have to keep in mind is that relational expressions are going to have a higher precedent than assignment. So if we have something that looks you know, like this, equals z, and we do z equals a not equal to b. So what does this mean? The not equal has a higher precedence than equal, higher precedence than the assignment operator. So it just means that this part right here gets executed first, right? So the relational operator goes first and then the assignment operator. Okay, so now you know how to use relational operators to determine the relationship between different values and how you can store those in a Boolean variable and display the contents of that Boolean variable to the screen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.